Hey everyone, Lance here. Now I made the mistake of telling myself when I built my rig that I wouldn't do any kind of overclocking at all ever. Now I thought I'd save myself a bit of money and get a non-K model Intel CPU. Now with that said, there is a way to get a small overclock out of most locked Intel CPUs. Now before I got started, I did want to say that this is nothing groundbreaking or something that's never been done before. It's been done plenty of times, but I thought it would be a bit of fun making a video guide on how to do it anyway. So here's my CPU, the Intel 4790. That's right, not the 4790K. Like I said, it is a locked CPU. It's an i7 3.6 GHz quad-core CPU with a 4 GHz boost clock. Uh, the motherboard that I'm using for overclocking is the Republic of Gamers ASUS Maximus Ranger 7. Now just a little bit of a disclaimer on this one here, since it is locked we're not going to be making huge overclocks or anything, just a few hundred megahertz but of course every little bit counts. Now before we got into it I did want to briefly mention that I haven't had any cooling or stability issues with this or after doing this and I've been running my system like this for months. Now I'm getting a 4.2 gigahertz, give or take a little bit, um, overclock so a 4.2 gigahertz clock speed from the CPU which is supposedly locked to 3.6 with a turbo boost of 4. So here I've gone and loaded up the BIOS for my system and loaded up some optimized defaults so it's all to default settings as we can see the turbo mode frequency is 4000 megahertz and the DRAM frequency is 1600 megahertz. Now what we're going to actually be doing right now is adjusting the base clock rate. Now this will affect the CPU and the memory frequency as well as most other figures. Now I did want to mention that a lot of BIOSes will be different, some terms will be named the same, some will be different, some will be very similar to what mine is, but take it with a word of caution that you might not find the exact settings or wording as mine has. So what we first want to start with is by turning AI overclock tuner from auto to manual. Once we've done that, it will allow us to make some other changes. Now I run mine here at 106. So if I put the base clock rate frequency to this, we can see at the top we now have 4240 megahertz and also the DRAM frequency is 1696. The reason I don't go above 106 is because I didn't want to push my RAM too far into the 1700 or 1800 mark and also if we boost it up too high the target DRAM frequency will actually show a lower number here and I don't know enough about it yet to decide what else I can actually change on this lock CPU to make any benefit. Um, like I said, it's not going to be a huge overclock, but at least it is something. Now what I'll do is I'll exit here, save changes and reset. We can see the changes that are made and we'll click OK. Now the system will reboot and it's basically as simple as that. Hopefully you guys can see that. We can see we've got 4240 MHz for the CPU frequency here and for the DRAM frequency just below it, you might not be able to see that one, but over here we can see 1692 MHz. So as we can see, we've got the overclock applied, and that is all it takes. Now, of course, I would definitely recommend running a stress test for a decent amount of time after this, maybe not as long as you would for an unlocked CPU with a really high overclock on it, but at least run something like Valley Benchmark for a couple of tests, or even play a game in single player, definitely not competitive in case it crashes, but play something in single player, make sure it's running without any issues. This is how I've been running mine for several months and have not had a single related issue at all. What I'll do guys is I'll actually restart back into the BIOS and we'll see what happens if we try and apply an overclock that is just too much for it to all handle and we can also see how the numbers all jumble around if we change that as well. So here we are booted back into the BIOS so we can see we've got 4240 megahertz, 1696 as the targets. Um, 
Now the reason I don't go much higher is because at 107, we can see that the target DRAM frequency is 1712 with barely any impact on the CPU frequency. But say we do something like 110, see that doesn't change the DRAM frequency too much. Um, it is above the 1600 range, which I'm not too happy about, but we also get 4400 MHz here. But if we go to exit this, save changes and reset, apply those changes and let it reboot, we'll soon see what happens here. Now I don't know if you can hear the fan going there, but the system is having a little bit of trouble trying to restart. This is the second time it's switched on and the fans have gone full speed and then we go, it's switched off a second time again there. And we're booting up a third time now. The fans have kind of stabilized this time. Screen's lit up. We're on the splash screen and we can see this screen here which some people may be familiar with American mega trends and down the bottom here we can see overclocking failed please enter setup to reconfigure your system so let's go ahead and I'll change everything back to 106 how I've had it set up but hey thanks a lot for watching guys I hope this has helped at least some of you I think been planning this video for a little while and I thought I'd get on to it but yeah anyway thanks for watching guys